It is Monday the 22nd of July 2019. It's a lovely summer evening. A bit of a breeze blowing now, but uh, we're on the... Um, we're expecting over the next few days to have some really, really hot weather. So uh, we need to check out um, our livestock to make sure that they're not affected by that. Uh, but one thing that um, uh, snow on big billy goats, uh, our biggest of our billy goats, has been suffering from recently has been his horn stub, which was uh, growing round as a coil. Uh, it, it was meant to have been burnt off uh, when he was a baby, but the, uh, it didn't quite work properly. Uh, so this stub kept growing, and uh, as I say, it turned round in a coil, on, and it started to cut into his head. Uh, so this afternoon we had the um, not particularly pleasant job of uh, having to saw off um, half of his uh, his um, horn stub, uh, so he bled a bit, uh, but it got it away from this sort of cut that it was making into his head. Uh, so he's not happy with us at the minute because uh, he uh, particularly did not like being sprayed with the antiseptic after the um, uh, after we'd finished doing the cutting. So there he is, and as you can see on the fore, on his head there. That is the horn that's been cut off, uh, and just below it is the uh, where his uh, cut was. Uh, oh, he's being a bit more friendly now. Uh, well, normally he uh, loves his fuss, uh, so uh, he was keeping his distance earlier. Uh, but that that should heal now, and we'll put some more antiseptic on it shortly. But uh, hopefully it'll be a while yet before we have to cut the horn again. One of the characteristics I think we remember this year by is the amount of swarms that we've had from the from the bees, and uh, we started the year with effectively four uh, full hives, and uh, well it was kind of four and a half actually. Uh, but uh, the, the half hive was a very weak hive and we think that the queen had uh, died and therefore the colony itself was dying off so uh, when the bees started swarming we added a swarm to that colony and it's now quite a strong, strong colony uh, but uh, I was thinking that uh, last week maybe we had um, actually um, had the last of our swarms because we had by then arrived at uh, from four to we had gone to fourteen hives, uh, which was um, meant that we were salvaging whatever equipment that we could to build the new hives. And then this afternoon, we had another swarm. So I've already housed the swarm. Uh, I collected it in this nuke box, and uh, it will have to stay in this nuke box for. A few days because we are putting together what equipment we can to build full hives. Now we've actually gone through everything that we've got at home uh, to find what bits that we've got. So back home we've got uh, enough parts if we uh, join them all up together to make a hive. So over the next uh, few days we'll uh, put that equipment together uh, but that nuke box that I've just shown you will be moved over to our far side plot in the next few minutes and that nuke box already has uh, five old frames in it which the the bees will use but when we've built the new hive uh, we'll take those frames out of that uh, nuke box and add them to uh, the new hive at the location that we've already uh, put the, the nuke box uh, so that the bees uh, still come back to the same plot, same site, uh, but that means they'll also be housed in a proper size hive. One other bit of news to catch up with is that Spot here is now very pregnant. Uh, I don't think she's due for a few days yet maybe a week to ten days and the reason why I think that she's close but not close enough is because her udders haven't quite fully uh, swollen out yet as you can see there there they are uh, so I think they've got a, a few days to go yet 
Right, I've now moved the nuke box to our second apiary. Uh, now this apiary now has nine hives in it and uh, they're all swarm hives um, from this year. Uh, so the bees have been really on swarm overdrive this year. Now that's been useful for us to be able to build up our stocks of our stock of uh, bee colonies and hives. Um, Massive danger for next year is that if they are at the same rate of uh, hive of colony reproduction, then we will need dozens more new hives. So we're going to have to look at this over the coming months, get the new hive equipment in, and get it all made up ready. And we'll have these uh, um, empty hives around the site, so they'll act as bait hives. But one of the things that we're thinking of doing is actually next year, if we have so many uh, swarms, that we will actually need to start selling some of these so that we can expand the number of beekeepers that are around in the area. But anyway, as I say, we've now moved the small hive, sorry, the, the nuke that we had. And this is it here. So we've moved that over to this site. And I've got it standing temporarily on the swarm box. And, as you can see, some of the bees are out there. Now this has five frames in it, and when we bring the new hive, this will all be replaced. And the, and the frames that are in here already will be moved to the new hive, and there'll be another, uh, ooh, how many? Uh, another six seven frames in the the swarm uh, in the the new hive uh, so it will be able to expand out uh, and grow in size because this is um, this is really just a, a it's a nuke so it's used for um, developing new artificially developing new hives so it's just like a baby hive so we started the uh, with effectively four hives uh, four good, healthy, solid hives, good colonies in there. And uh, at the moment, we now have 15 hives, uh, which is the most that we've ever had. Uh, now, I don't expect them all to survive the winter. Uh, some might be too weak and just die off. Others uh, will spot that they're weak and we can merge them with other hives. Uh, so... Uh, Next year, at the start start of the uh, the spring, I'm not necessarily expecting us to have 15 hives, uh, but you never know. <laughs> it's been quite an interesting year for beekeeping.